It is the time of the year, finally some holiday makeup. We have these three beautiful new limited edition palettes from Hourglass with stunning packaging. In my opinion, it's the best one so far. You already know that I'm gonna be giving you all the tea about this holiday collection from Hourglass, straight to the point. I have no type of definition on my face in case you like, she looks weird. The only thing that I have is foundation and concealer. This amazing packaging is by Katie Scott. She did a great job, the details, in the art to die for and I'm loving the glossy finish so last year we only got two palettes for the holiday collection this year we're getting three which I'm so happy because you guys know that everybody including me were really aggravated at hourglass because they weren't coming out with something for dark deep skin complexions this year they did we're basically getting one for light skin tones, which is the one that comes with the butterfly case. This one is the only one that I didn't pick up because I know it looks very pretty but boring. Everything right here is just way too light and I feel that before you get this one, you can get away with getting the medium one. This one is the one for medium skin tones and just so you know, this cute little thing thing right here, it is a real elephant. Her name is Happy and she has been held captive in the Bronx Zoo for 45 years. And she's also a badass because it's the first animal to seek legal personhood by the Court of Appeals. And 5% profit is going to be donated to non-human rights to help animals like Happy find freedoms. Honestly, after the whole story behind this collection I like the palettes even more the quick thing that I want you to know is that you don't have to get the palettes in the packages they come with you can also go on their website and customize it you can only customize the case but hey if you like the palette that goes for medium skin tones but you like the butterfly case you can switch that up and I think that's a good idea I swear that I'm just obsessed with this packaging this is just too cute to handle and I'm over here loving happy. With the elephant, you are going to get the perfect soft rosy glow. In this palette, the first two shades are finishing powders and they are existing shades. All the other shades are new. Do love that mostly we have new shades, but even though I have the two finishing powders in previous palettes, I am happy to get it here because it makes the palette more complete, which is perfect for traveling, for on the go, because you have everything, powder, bronzer, blush, highlighter. Because I am that type. I actually love this palette from Hourglass for traveling or quick, easy makeup looks. So something like this with everything can potentially become a must have. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this really in swatches, but let's try. This is the first finishing powder. The second shade. The first finishing powder got a rosy undertone and the second one looks more yellow. This one is the highlighter and the bronzer. Oh, that looks pretty. It's like a rosy peachy highlighter. And then the bronzer. Oh, the highlighter is so pretty. It got like a rosy peach undertone and the bronzer looks a little bit orangey. Hopefully it doesn't look like that on the skin. Now let's swatch the lightest blush that looks a little bit more pinky. And then the darkest one, it's pulling a little bit more purple. This is the lightest one. That looks bright. And here you have the darkest one. I am happy that they're not super close in shades. I mean, we still have to see what's up when we apply it on the face. You know that after we blend it, they might look the same. Let me show you the other one and then we're gonna apply them to the face. I have the feeling that everybody is showing you one palette, then they take it off and then they show you the other one. But in my opinion, by the time that you want the second palette, you already forgot how the first one looked and I don't think you're gonna go back into the video and do comparisons like that. That's a little bit annoying. So even though I'm gonna look a little crazy, See, I'm gonna split my face and I'm gonna be applying one palette in each side of the face so you can see how the both look at the same time. Yeah, you have the tiger palette. Look how stunning it is. And it is what I have on my eyes. This look is totally given. And then look at all this yumminess. This one is the most unique. We don't have anything like this when it comes to the previous hourglass palette and I appreciate that so much. 
Thank you, Hourglass. We definitely needed something different because that's one complaint that I always have, that when it comes down to the greedy needy, all their palettes look the same this one is the one that is supposed to be for dark skin tones in here you get the most new shades but no bronzer the only existing shade it is this blush everything else it's brand new shades this is a finishing powder for dark skin tone i do want to see how it looks as bronzer on my medium skin tone and when it comes to this eye look it was super quick and easy to create i apply this on my outer v then this shade on my crease i apply the blush right on the center of my lid the highlighter on the tear duct and the inner part of my eye i apply a little bit of brown liner on my outer v and i smushed it out with this shade and then i went in with this one right on my brow bone and that's it before i bring you all up in my grill let's swatch these shades really quick this one is the finishing powder this is one of the metallic strobe light and then this one is a blush oh my gosh look at that blush i know this on dark skin tones is gonna look yummy this one is the fourth shade the other metallic strobe light and this one looks a lot more intense i like this and then let's swatch this one and this one See, they're giving completely different vibes this is more rosy this is all bronzy coppery i'm gonna be using my brush from hourglass which i love to use with these palettes I'm gonna start with the elephant and I'm gonna be showing you the way that I like to use this palette and I think it's the best way. Remember that those patterns right there, they're not for setting your concealer or your foundation, none of that at all. You have to apply your concealer, your foundation, set it with your regular powder and then you go in with those finishing powder. All this is going to do is just gonna give you that beautiful glow coming with it in. It's gonna give you the healthy look. It's gonna make your skin look beautiful. I already have my concealer on and I set it with my regular powder from Pomegraph. I'm gonna start with the smaller side of the brush and I'm gonna be mixing these two finishing powders. But everything here is very glowy so I don't want you to apply the powder right under your eyes. You're gonna start right here and then you're gonna dust it up and it immediately gives you a pretty glow. Soft but you know it's there. See? It makes your skin go from matte to glowy. And I'm just going to dust it right here on my forehead. I'm going to bring it down. You see that? Look at that. And this is perfect if you don't really like highlighters. You can also apply the finishing powder right on top of your pore area. And it's not going to emphasize texture. Look at that. With... And without. I also want you to know that I'm wearing the new Hourglass foundation. It's not my fault that my skin looks good, even without the powders. <laughs> a little bit right here on my chin. You can also go with a bigger brush and pick up the finishing powder, both of them, and just apply it all over your face. But have in mind that the more you apply, the glowier you're gonna get. So it depends if you like that. But you see how it makes the skin look. I lower my lights again this is with the finishing powder and without I normally always contour before I bronze up my face but I don't want to do that right now with another product because that might interfere with the way that this looks on the face so we're just gonna bronze up the face and make it look cute we're gonna start right here from the forehead and we're gonna go on a three, just like that. Only apply it a little bit and you can already see it on my skin. This is with the bronzer and without. It already gave my face on top of the finishing. I like that. I'm gonna be applying a little bit more and I'm just gonna focus it right here. And I like the fact that they're glowy, but not too glowy. Definitely the palettes from last year, they overdid it with those. Those were a lot more glowy than this. In here, we don't have finishing powder for my skin complexion. So let's just see how the bronzer looks on me. So this one is a lot darker. This one is a lot darker. Make sure you have a light hand. 
But then that's already looking good on my skin too. And you only need a little bit. So in here we have the finishing powders and the bronzers from the Elephant Palette. And in here we have the finishing powder as bronzer. Which one do you like more? I like both of them. But for my skin tone, this bronzer looks a little better. You know, in the Tiger Palette, let's apply a little bit of this one as finishing powder right here. Because that one is light. Okay, that one looks good. Not as finishing powder because it's given highlighter. But I like it. First, I'm going to be picking up the lightest blush. Mm. Yes. Now let's go in with this one. And I'm applying the darkest blush right here on the back. A little bit more of the lightest one on the apples of my cheeks. Wow, the blush, it's giving. Uh, the formulation blends in beautiful. And again, it's not going to emphasize texture. It's not going to sit on fine lines. It's not going to settle on dry patches. Mmm. Now in the Tiger Palette, this is a little hard because I don't know what I want to use for blush. I mean, I do really like this shade, but I also like this one. This is going to give me a nice bronzy look. Perfect for falls. I mean, both of those shades are perfect for falls. But let's just apply a little bit of this one and be careful with that shade because that is pigmented. I'm going to start by applying it right here first on the back. Mm, see that? That looks good. Now I'm gonna pick up this one and I'm just gonna apply it right on top. Why not? It looks like a bronzy, shimmery blush. So that's good. And then now I'm gonna be picking up a little bit of this blush for the apples of my cheeks. This is just gonna bright things up and I'm loving how all the shades complement each other. Now let's apply the highlighter on the Elephant Palette. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That looks so freaking juicy. This might be my favorite new highlighter. Now, let's apply this one in the other side. They're blinding. They're freaking booming. I think I win him. You have to apply a little bit. That's a lot. It looks pretty, I know, but it is too dark for my skin complexion, this highlighter. See, when the light is not hitting it, it looks like a bruise. See that? So, no. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the finishing powder from the Elephant Palette. And I'm going to apply it right on top of the highlighter just to make it a little lighter. See, that looks better. Now you see it, but not that much. But this one is, oh, giving me all. All right, babe. So we are done with the application part of this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm totally satisfied with both of the palettes. I love the way they look on the skin. Beautiful shades. The pigmentation is on point. And this one is a hit. I know this is going to show on dark skin complexion. And I'm so happy about that. Finally. If you ask me to pick a favorite, that's so hard. Because I really love both of them. But the Elephant, it's definitely more suitable for my medium skin tone. Every single shade in here looks flattering. I'm obsessed with the highlight. Lighter, and you can just be careless with this you can just apply as much as you want no struggle and it's going to look beautiful on the skin when it comes to the tiger yes it works i love every single shade in here you just have to make sure that you don't apply too much because if you apply too much it will look crazy if you're lighter than me the elephant will look good but i don't recommend you the tiger one because it's gonna be way too dark here i have both of the palettes from last year let me show you this one which is the ambient lighting edit universe unlocked 
next to this baby, the tiger one. They're totally different. And now let me show you the lighting edit universe next to the tiger at all. <laughs> and now let me see how it compares next to the elephant. See? This one, the one from last year, looks a lot lighter than this one. Really quick, let me swatch the blushes that we get in here. See how everything in here is just so much more glowy than the palettes that we got this year. That was one thing that I didn't like about these palettes last year. That when you apply all the shades and they all look like this, this glowy is just way too much. And then now let me swatch this one that is a bit darker than the other one. But the blushes look a little similar. Well, no, the blushes that we get in the palette from last year looks a little darker than the one in the elephant. But not even, this blush doesn't look like the blushes that we get in the elephant palette. Because this is like pinky pinky. And then in here, the pinky blush that we're getting in person, it looks pinky with a little bit of coral. So this one, it's a lot more pinky than that one. And then the other one, again, it's more purple. It's not pinky. So no. Wow, finally, Hourglass gave us something totally different from what we were getting before. I almost didn't get this palette because I was just so fed up with getting the same shit all over and over again. Thank God. I'm so happy. I mean, you already know that the Tiger Palette, it is completely different from everything that we got before. And the finishing powder, yes, it is darker than the ones that we got last year. And even the Elephant Palette, it is not the same at all. I also have the Sculpture Palette that you can already see that is very different from the elephant yes it is and then it's also very different from the tiger and then this one the ghost that is one of the lightest palettes that i have at all it looks the same look how light this is i totally recommend you this babies Period. Even if you have all the previous palettes, you need this ones in your life. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this palette and which one do you like the most. And I love you to the moon and back. Mwah. See you on the next one.